，就是今天有有有有,有一个一个感觉，他是 for yourself 来的。对，我觉得可能全部里面唯一比较要想一下是这一个啦。哎哎，我猜错是吗？哎 ，for yourself 啊啊，这个是。诺言 ，sorry 啊，诺言，我没有录到第二个吧，给你看答案，你 check 一下。把它没有很多很难的东西啊，蛮简单，蛮直接的，很多 pass and， 然后这个 ，OK， 还有这一个应该还没有，你可以 pause 啊。还有这个，我们该记了十二面，呃，这一个的答案给你看一看，那你可以 pause 一下。这个 ，OK， 应该是没有什么问题。OK。我现在要呃 share 一个东西，大家，呃，只是是可以放一边了 ，OK？ 你要看，我觉得可以看 IKEA， 哎，还是我们看过了这个 IKEA effect， 有哦 ，Apple and Nike， 这个好像没有，我是记得 IKEA 的东西，因为我有 share， 我叫你们拍东西的，我记得 ，OK？ 不用拍，把我们看一看啊 ，share sound， 因为我不想要做多一个。大家，你不要去放放放学前啊！我知道你在家都很轻松啊，说一个 already 啊呀，你反正有几分钟放，你给我那几分钟。It's just soda. Oh, sorry. So what is ClickUp? ClickUp.、Oh. Coke is just soda. Tylenol just acetaminophen. And Levi's are just jeans. Yet consumers. 呃，这是一讲关于 branding 的 ，branding 就是他讲打造自己的品牌 ，branding 是一个很。很厉害，很很专业的一个课题来的，很多人哦，花很多钱去上课，上关于他们 branding， 怎样做公司的 branding 啊，或者是他们做 marketing 的营销的，因为什么生意都需要到 branding 的嘛，所以他们很注重这个东西。然后也可以讲到关于 personal branding， 你自己 what is your brand， 你也是有一个 personal branding， 人家看到你看到什么啊？所以 branding 其实对个人还有公司都很重要的，我们。Consumers go out of their way to select these specific brands over others. An economist would say, "How is this possible that a rational consumer would be willing to pay more for exactly the same thing?" We love to think about ourselves as rational. That's not how it works. A very famous study done by colleagues at Duke University had flashed either the Apple logo. Or the IBM logo to two randomized groups of participants. The study found that after being subliminally exposed to the Apple logo, compared to when you've been exposed to the IBM logo, participants performed better on creative tasks. And the argument is that Apple has been telling you this story over and over again that Apple is the brand for hip, cool, fun, creative people. This is the true power of brands. They can influence our behavior in ways that extend way beyond the point of sale. So, to what degree can the influence of brands wreak havoc on our ability to make rational spending decisions? This is your brain on money. This is Americus Reed. He studies identity and marketing at the University of Pennsylvania. When I make choices about different brands, I'm choosing to create an identity. When I put that shirt on, when I put those shoes on, those jeans, that hat, someone is going to form an impression about what I'm about. So if I'm choosing Nike over Under Armour, I'm choosing a kind of different way to express affiliation with sport. The Nike thing is about performance. The Under Armour thing is about the underdog. I have to choose which of these different conceptual pathways is most consistent with where I am in my life. And once a consumer makes that choice, their relationship with a brand can deepen to the point where they identify with the brand like family. And once you identify with a brand, it can shape the way you behave. And it's really interesting because they will also, if someone talks bad about that product, brand, or service, they will be the first to go out and defend. Why? Because an attack on the brand is an attack on themselves. Michael Platt is a professor of neuroscience, marketing, and psychology whose research demonstrates how our perception of brands influences our decisions. There's an idea in marketing, which is that we relate to brands in the same way we relate to people. It's like I love this brand or I hate this brand. Of course, what people say, right, can often be different from what's really going on in their heads. So we thought, well, why don't we just ask the brain directly? 
Michael and his team observed the brains of iPhone users and Samsung Galaxy users with an MRI machine while they heard good, bad, and neutral news about Apple and Samsung. Apple customers showed a brain empathy response toward Apple that was exactly what you'd see in the way you would respond to somebody in your own family. Strangely, Samsung users didn't have any positive or negative responses when good or bad news was released about their brand. The only evidence that Samsung users showed was reverse empathy for Apple news, meaning if the Apple headline was negative, their brain reflected a positive response. You know, it really shows us that Apple has completely defined the market here. Samsung customers, it seems, from their brain data, are only buying Samsung because they hate Apple. The kicker? The Samsung users didn't report feeling the results their MRIs showed. What was happening in their brains and what they reported feeling towards Apple and Samsung were totally different. Most people just don't realize that they are subconsciously choosing brands because those brands have some kind of self-expressive value. You can see there's a lot of power here in terms of shaping uh, consumers' decisions. As we learn more and more about that, we have to think much more deeply about the ethical, legal, and societal implications of doing that. So as consumers, what can we do to make informed choices? Well, the best thing we can do is be aware of the influence that brands hold. I think it's important to always pause and think a little bit about, okay, why am I buying this product? And like it or not, brands aren't going anywhere. I've heard lots of people push back and say that I'm not into brands. I take a very different view. They're not doing anything any different than what someone who affiliates with a brand is doing. They have a brand. It's just an anti-brand brand. And I think about what is it that I've learned about identity over time? I think a lot of it has to do with the fundamental need that we as humans have to have support systems. Perhaps it was the church, it was the community, it was these other institutions that existed. Now brands have stepped in as pillars of our identity. So I'm very much motivated to see that in that positive light. Hey, you very interesting. If you listen, you hear him talk about the Apple and Samsung experiment. Their user's MRI scan is scanned by the brain. So you don't have to say yes or no. He just has the brain that he likes or not. If you listen to the experiment, it's very interesting. But this is a very interesting experiment. Sometimes we don't know if it's a few years ago. But we don't know if it's a few years ago. So if it's a few years ago, 呃呃，有因为有一些 research 也是会过时嘛，现在又有很多其他的 brand 了，又华为什么东西嘛啊，这样咯，只是是很有趣的。还有他讲关于那个 brand， 还有我们的 identity， 他讲有人讲，不过如果其实他不在讲关于买名牌什么啊，他真的是在讲关于身份。他讲我们有不一样的，如果你在选择一个 brand， 或者是你选择不要 brand， 那个就是你自己对于身份的一个。一个一个，喏，他讲展示，因为你会 identify with 那个那个东西，他讲很有趣的这个，你可以看，因为他很多 information 嘛、啊。但是其实它是一个很好 discussion 来的的的 video 来的。OK， 我只要 show 你一些东西，听一听一些 video 罢了。好啦，大家，我们到这里啦。Bye bye， everybody， 再见。拜拜，是。Bye。就圣诞老人。